Oh, you showered this morning? You're okay? Yeah. Glad you learned something. So, <laughs> we're looking to okay. have an action to approve the yeah, proposal by Rendezvous Productions. Uh, everybody should have a copy of that. Yeah, so, oh, this is for this. this is yeah, so as you know, um, this is the fifth annual Sunset and Die, and it's less than two, two months away now. Um, we identified that we needed to hire an event producer for this year's event, um, just because the, the toll that it took on our staff, time and energy is just growing, growing exponentially each year. So with that in mind, the committee authorized to raise the price per ticket by $5. Um, that gives us, if we sell 600 tickets, $3,000 for an event producer. So how much are tickets going to be now? Uh, 30. 30 dollars okay. Thanks. Yeah. Um, we, after canvassing the committee and board for event production companies, we sent an RFP out for, to five different companies. Out of those, two of them felt that the budget was too small for them to work with. Uh, one of them declined to answer because they said they were too busy, so we received two proposals. Uh, this is one of them. The other one was from Wide Angle Group, who we've been working with on the Only in Hollywood Music Festival. Um, Wide Angle Group's proposal ended up being about $2,940 more than Rendezvous. Um, we do have experience with Rendezvous. We participated in the Hester Street Fair a few years ago, which they held on the south lot of Boulevard 6200 East Town. Um, we were a uh, participant in that event. We had a booth there. So with our experience with them and with the other events that they produce, including Off Sunset, the Rendezvous Markets, um, they do a festival out in Pioneer Town. The committee felt comfortable that this was the right decision. <coughs> so they are standing by on your decision. Um, if approved, they are going to meet with us next Friday at the location to begin planning the logistics for the event. What did we pay last year? We didn't pay anybody last you year. Did we did it all. You did it all. We hired a couple of people, clients of the center, and Joe and Matthew and I put everything up and then me and a friend took it all down at the end of the event. Jesus. And this is obviously taking it to, or at least we would like to take it to another level um, and use the experience of, uh, of these folks that uh, put on a pretty big festival in, uh, at, at Abbott Kinney. Uh, they've been doing that for many years. Um, and uh, bringing in more vendors and, and basically getting Sunset and Dime, uh, raising the bar. Do yeah. We, so we have this money in our budget. Yeah, we increased yeah. the ticket ticket price is five dollars per ticket. So that Covers that this. came up with a three thousand dollar pocket that we budgeted for this. The question is this separate from the Hanks and Co. Yeah, the, the Hanks and Co. Um, that comes out of the regular marketing budget. So that's not included in the event budget. This is included in the event budget, but it was made by raising the tickets. Um, and the other thing about this is it's going to help with the check-in process. That was kind of the the part where we as a staff do not excel in checking in over 600 people to an event. Um, yeah. They do. This is what they do. So um, the logistics, the setup, and the check-in process is what they would be asking. If the revenue is the same as last year, would we be able to afford this? Yeah, we're projecting a um, surplus of about a little under five thousand dollars. So that would be our donation to the center if that, if all things. So, but based on what percentages of attendance improvement from the year before? Is there a percentage improvement? Yeah, I think I put in about um, one hundred and fifty to two hundred more attendees this okay. year, based on. So I, put, I took. The What's your assumption based on? The committee took a look at the budgets from year one through year four. So that's what it's based on, the trend. increase and the trend. The trend. Exactly. Okay. And you're going to have sponsors, too. Yeah. We're actively looking for sponsors. I've included the sponsorship you. form in your packet. Please note that Donna Humphrey is of no relation to me. Just say the same last name. So name spelling. Exactly. Uh, if no more questions, then the action is see if someone wants to make, sure, make a motion to approve this proposal by running the productions, obtain their services and manage the Sunset Dive for 2016 at a cost not to exceed 3000 
and it's made out of the sunset line on co op budget. Anybody want to make that motion? Yeah. Any a second? All right. Okay, all those in favor of the motion? Any opposed? Abstentions? So that's unanimously approved. Thank you. Uh, we're back on the flip side. Uh, do we want to do new business? Yeah. Neighborhood, uh, neighborhood integrity initiative update? Yeah, I'm going to run through, and I can run through the staff reports very quickly, but uh, neighborhood integrity initiative update, not much to report other than Brian and I are with the Hollywood Chamber serving on the LA Chamber's Coalition to Protect Jobs and Housing. Um, there's a there's a movement underway to obtain funding to kind of help support the campaign against the so-called Neighborhood Integrity Initiative, which will be on the March ballot, is what we're pursuing. Um, they've already started their process of obtaining signatures <coughs> for, for the to put it on the ballot. So we're just wrapping up for that, and we are part of that coalition. So that's moving forward. Uh, Carrie is continuing to start the effort to bring together some Vine Street property owners and just organizing them and looking at, including Taglion, to look at uh, issues that are happening on Vine Street. Uh, we have a bus tour of the two bids on July 26th, um, which many of you probably got that email. If you haven't yet and you're interested in, in going on that, Jack, you're more than welcome to as well. Um, that'll be on the uh, 26th of July. You can email Lauren and she will reserve your spot on our bus tour. Um, our all property owners meeting, this is a meeting that we do each year for all the property owners in the area, is looking like it will be August 10th. Um, we typically do that from 4 in the afternoon until about 7 o'clock. We are still looking for a location. Ideally, we'd like it to be in the Sunset and Vine bid, and it has to be a location that is open to the public, of course, um, thanks to Adrian and the others. So just want to make sure that we do that, and if you are have any ideas of places we can have it, please let us know. Um, we reached out to a few spots, but unfortunately it hasn't come, it hasn't been able to get solidified yet. So um, we're open to any suggestions and we may, depending on the location, may have to change our date, but for right now we're still hoping for- Is it outdoors? August 10th. It can be outdoors, but <coughs> we need to have some type of AV so that we can, you know, we usually have a presentation, PowerPoint, you know, microphones and things like that for speakers. Yeah, it's a little warm this time of year. Yeah. Four to seven, yeah. So um, so that's that. And then the one last thing before we discuss if we're gonna have an August meeting or not is this is Kitty's last meeting. And so we wanted to take a moment and there's a card for you, which if you haven't signed it, um, let Lauren know so we can give it to her before she leaves today. And we got some flowers. So, Kitty has been a member of this board for uh, almost seven years. She's in her seventh year, and she joined the CHC board in 2010. I will tell you, in her seven years, she has a nearly perfect, perfect attendance record. Um, I, 85% is your meeting attendance, yes. That's, that's pretty, that's in seven years, that's pretty amazing, I'll tell you. Um, she became our treasurer in 2014 after Duke, our longtime standing treasurer, left. <coughs> and she had very big shoes to fill and she did a tremendous job of helping us transition to Jose, who's our current accountant. Um, she's volunteered and dedicated countless hours, whether that's serving on the street seat committee, going over and pouring over financials with me, um, helping with Sunset and Dine, pretty much anything and everything we've ever needed, Kitty has been like one of the first to volunteer to help. And um, I, I will personally say I will very much miss you. You've been a huge support and friend of the staff and I, on behalf of all of us and Carrie, who cannot be here today, we just have immense respect and appreciation for everything you've done for not just the why, but for Hollywood. And so um, you're gonna be very, very missed. And so we just wanted to acknowledge you and thank you for That's your service. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just, um, we typically have not had an August meeting for summer vacations and because we have our all property owners meeting. So um, it's up to you guys though if you really want to have a meeting in August. Otherwise, we will do a meeting in September. So anybody, no, just anybody, everybody okay with just having September? Yeah. 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 So we're having an August. Okay, so we can adjourn, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.